We have a little lizard in our room. He scurries up and down throughout the night, and when I try to catch him with the broom, I can't because he scampers out of sight. He helps us in so many, many ways. He eats the flies and things while we're asleep. I hope he lives for many, many days and never finds a cause to fret or weep. The lizard is a funny little friend. He never talks to us, but he's there. He's silent, true and loyal to the end and doesn't even just pretend to care. I think such friendship's scarce in modern times. So have captured Mr. Lizard in these rhymes. Before me is an electronic page that's crying out for fourteen little lines, and so I let my fingers set the gauge and let my mind walk off in search of signs. Then, Four lines, they appear beyond my grasp, and then another one, and then one more. I try to keep a hold but cannot clasp, and suddenly there's writ another four. So four and four is obviously eight, and then, of course, there's only six to go. But that maths is a little bit too late, because four more have come to say hello. So now there's just the couplet left to do, and here's a brand new sonnet made for you. Outside the kitchen window lurks my friend, a spider just as deadly as a bomb who causes many six-legged lives to end in webs he weaves with effortless aplomb. His legs are sharp, his body fed and plump. He moves like light upon his silver strings. When there's the slightest twitch, I see him jump onto a fly to embroider its wings. Both night and day he waits upon his silk, as patient and as calm as death itself, to suck from tangled prey the living milk, and add it to the store of his own wealth. So clinical and fast and quick and clean, the outside window fly-killing machine. <laughs> 